an end to the game. But just sum it all up for us. Hard to sum it up right now. Um, a really good game of football, I thought. Two good teams um, <clears throat> trying, to, trying to play the right way on that pitch. Um, and delighted for the players, the fans, everybody, um, the staff uh, to get that win, like I say, against a really good team. Um, and I don't think anybody can, can take that away from us, really. Um, there was battles where both teams had plenty of possession of the ball, there was opportunities to score, probably more goals in the game than, than what happened. Um, but what the players are building in terms of robustness and, and things that have gone against them in the last few weeks, they, they've, they've put that to practice in terms of getting the result out of the game. Um, and again, we asked the players to be brave and I thought they were excellent tonight, really excellent. Um, so many standout players. Did you think, here we go again, 2-1 up, right on half time to 2-2? No, because I, I, I thought there'd be chances in the game again. Um, probably for both teams, it was just inevitable the way the game was going. So th th we knew there was going to be chances in the game. I'm obviously disappointed to concede that goal. Um, but they're, they're a quality team, you know, the first goal, they got an F1 driving down the side of the pitch. He's that quick, honestly, Jesus. You don't look that quick when you actually watch him on video. You know, and I thought after that, I thought Rio did excellent, um, got his angles and distances right. Uh, no, but really pleasing. Um, things we've been working on, we could see. Uh, which again is pleasing and the main thing is <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago we were breaking the, the, these um, fixtures down into five and we said we're going to go and meet these teams head on and I thought we coped with everything Salford had to, um, Sutton had to throw at us, I really did um, I thought we did better at, at their game than what they did um, circumstances meant we didn't get the three points um, we weren't going we weren't going to sit back tonight um, obviously, some tactics come into it. Um, the fair play to the players, you know that, that message. What I did in the press that they, they've taken hold of, and listen, I'm going to let the players really enjoy it tonight because uh, they de they've deserved it, and the fans uh, they've deserved it. Um, but we'll we'll be working hard again tomorrow on Stevenage. Aren't you going to enjoy it? I've been bloody ill all week, so now I want to go home, and get in bed. <laughs> no, I will. I'll have a glass of wine tonight. <laughs> we could talk for hours about things that went on on the pitch, but let's try and condense it a little bit. Great penalty once again, confident that he was going to score. But then you got in the lead with a, a Joel Tam and the first football league goal. What about that one? Unbelievable to, uh, goal to score your first one, to show the confidence and the technique to do that. But the boy's a talent, isn't he? Um, we'll look after him in the right way. So, uh, unbelievable finish, composure, maturity in his play all the time. Um, he's getting better and better. Um, and I, I, thought, I just thought it was excellent. You know, it could have come off a big bobble or whatever. I, I thought it was brilliant, and I was just, you know, hoping for it going. And I'm really pleased for him. I think I think he's been excellent over the last couple of months. Now, it, looked as though it could be going to two-two, and all of a sudden they've got themselves in front. And you probably thought oh, we've got to fight again. And you kept fighting and fighting, and then we see a, a back heel from Conor Arim. <clears throat> again, it was just the, the part of the night, wasn't it? Really, that, that he's done that, but he's putting himself in positions um, to score goals. Used his body nicely, and back heeled it in, and took me by surprise. I must say that Conor Reardon's doing back heels up front. I do call him Tor Andre Flo in training, mind. But um, no, again, I thought he was excellent, Conor. I thought um, it was particularly when Smith come on as well. You know, I thought I thought they were, everyone. I, I can't praise the players enough. I really can't. I've got to still keep on an individual yep. sort, of, sort of sort of way that we're we're talking because Dan Ajayi then has got on the end of uh, of that the the shot from Nevitt was probably one of the hardest shots we've seen for, yep. for 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 a long long time. But Ajayi, right in form, isn't he? You know now a couple of goals now and he's edging towards that 15, 16, 17 mark. He is, and I'd just like to mention Elliot as well. Um, what he's bringing to this team, his goal will come. I, I, I don't want to keep going on about it, but he's such a presence. He's got such a football brain. Uh, he plays above his years in terms of bringing others into play. His work ethic, his understanding, um, his motivational uh, way he is around the players off the pitch. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was really excellent tonight, and I mentioned that at half time. Um, but Dan, he's getting better. Dan, he's getting better as the season's going on. Um, he, like I say, we want to get him to 15 goals. Um, we played him in a slightly different position, but tucked in more so he could be like a forward and I, I, I thought he really took the information on what we were asking of him. Um, he, he's as good as anyone in this division.
Over the years you've been involved at this football club as, as a player and also in the managerial setup as well. It's been a long time since you've seen scenes like that. How, how did you feel at the end when the final whistle went? Um, yeah, it was, I was more celebrating when the goal went in than, than at the end. You know, you try to be respectful to, to their staff and the players um, and try and just take it in and, and let the players enjoy it. Um, but I, 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 we, we've been so close to winning football matches and, and people are probably sick to death of me hearing it. Listen, we've won one football match. Let's quickly move on, let the players enjoy it, fans enjoy it tonight, Friday night. I'm sure they'll have a few. So, and then we'll be thinking about Stevenage. Um, but I certainly enjoyed when that goal went and apologises to whoever's son I picked up. <laughs> Must have been yours, surely. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. He was just there. Anyway, it was enjoyable. But, but again, you know, to, to do that sort of job against the Salford side, who are going to be right in there at the end, it can give everybody a lift between now and the end of the season for, for you to push on and for you to get going again. Well, that's what we want to try and do. Um, and I keep. You know, I don't want to sound like a broken record and saying the same things all the time, but we're on about trying to just push the group forward all the time. And I don't want the players coming, kicking, kicking and screaming, doing it, come along and do it. And, uh, you know, listen, it's a small step tonight, isn't it? It's a great result against a really good team. Um, and I'm really delighted for everybody, so I hope everyone enjoys it. But we, we've got business to do again on Tuesday night. And one thing that's come in your favour, I know that Ron McDonald has still got two games suspension, but you've got a strong squad in depth now, finally, touch wood. Yeah, we have. Um, you know, we've got some options from the bench. Didn't think, didn't thought, I didn't think we had to use them as quite as early tonight. Um, the way the game was going, um, but when Courtney come on, he looked back to something like he winning his headers, chasing people down over on the left hand side. Uh, Charlie Colquette looking sharper all the time. You know, when Sean's been in the team, we didn't find David Amu's come back. We've obviously got players who are then missing out on the bench. And competition's healthy and they've got to be professional, the people that aren't in the team. Subs, not in the squad, they've got to be professional and work hard every day to improve each other. So the recruitment will go on then and you'll be looking for a Formula One player next, will you? I can't get over how quick he looked. It was ridiculous. It was mad. No, no, enjoy the night.